points with Coach Tab Baldwin bilang head coach natin ngayon. Kasama natin ngayon ang basketball analyst na si Adrian D. Welcome hey, back to the score. Yep. Okay, so first of all, what was your reaction to the appointment of Coach Tab Baldwin? Did you expect this? Um, definitely no. Kasi when you look at the list of the <laughs> names that were being floated around, yung mga PBA coaches like bringing back Norman Black, mm -hmm. kunwari, uh, Boyet Fernandez, was another guy, some former college coaches like Louis Alas, no one really said, hey, let's get, you know, Tab Baldwin. Because the idea of getting the national team coach, tapos you're going to have him coach at the same time, a college coach, didn't seem possible, pero nangyari nga to. What do you think was going on through the minds of the Ateneo community, or the management mm -hmm. rather, when they got Coach Tab Baldwin? Siguro there's also a bit of reaction to the news of the latest coaching hirings. I mean, LaSalle got Alden Ayo, who coached the Letran mm -hmm. Knights to a championship. And then Adamson got Franz Pumarin, who, as we know, got lots of mm -hmm. titles with LaSalle. Siguro they said, okay, uh, if you look at all the coaches in the UAP right now, we really need to get a big, a big name so that you know our program can continue to be successful or be more successful than the past few seasons. So they looked at who's available and they decided to go with the national coach. Kung baga, parang naghahanap sila ng panapahan mm -hmm, sa tama. coach ng ibang team. Sa syempre, big names Ito, din. Ito, sagot natin, di ba? Parang ganun. Okay. So taking a look at you know the the technicalities right. of the whole thing, do you think that his system mm. fits the current Ateneo Blue Eagle squad without Kiefer, without Vaughn, without mm. Ponso? Well, without well Wayne? You'd, you'd have to sort of look at will they get new recruits? Who's gonna come in? Uh, at the same time, I think Coach Baldwin is smart enough to realize na okay, kung hindi baga yung current system na ginagamit ko sa Gilas, he can always come up with a new system. I mean, when you look at how he started his career, he was a triangle offense coach. And then he, when he came over here, he took on the dribble drive offense of Coach Chot Reyes. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, uh, this earlier this season, when he was uh, the head coach of the national team, he sort of changed it around to the swing offense. So he's a very flexible coach. If he looks at the roster next season, at kung hindi baga yung sistema niya, I'm sure he'll change it up. He's a very flexible coach when it comes to adjusting to the different um, systems but do you think he's also a developmental coach uh, that's a good question and i think i think he is if you look at you know how he was able it, to integrate two guys in, with the past leaders team terence romeo calvin abueva when you mention those names is it national team but he was able to make them fit and make them key contributors so i really think na and for me personally, Ateneo has been lacking in player development ever since Norman Black left. So to have a guy there who can sort of bring the best out of all these blue chip recruits would be really good for that team. Who do you think will stand out? Well, I think uh, with Coach Tab Baldwin. I think first you have to sort of look at uh, Arvin Tolentino. Like he's this is a guy who won Rookie of the Year, but last season uh, he didn't really have a lot of playing time. They'd bring him off the bench and then whenever he'd make a defensive lapse, binangku na kaagad. So I would really like to see Coach Tab really bring out the best of Arvin. And of course, there's so many point guards in that team, Matt Nieto, Adrian Wong, uh, Jerry Pingoy. If he's able to really um, bring out their potential, that would make Atenea a really strong team. Okay, syempre, bago natin pag-usapan yan, mm -hmm. kailangan puntahan muna natin <laughs> ang uh, kaso ni Coach mm -hmm. Tab Baldwin. Of course, we know that the BCAP mm -hmm. is opposing right. the appointment of Coach Tab Baldwin because there, apparently there's a rule that states no foreign coaches right. can coach here in the collegiate ranks mm -hmm. or rather in the in pro the ranks also, also because they're going to take away the jobs from the local coaches. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the whole thing? Do you think na matutuloy itong appointment ni Coach Tab Baldwin or medyo malabo? I think there are a few possibilities. Unang una, I'm interested in what the D DOLE uh, certificate that Coach Tab got to Coach Gila says because if it says uh, just you're able to coach the national team. It means that it's not possible in Ateneo. But if it says something like, you are allowed to coach in the Philippines, it's a different case. So, it's like it's a loose. Yes, it's a loophole in the rules. Another possibility is Ateneo might say that uh, you know, we'll only bring in Coach Tab for one year, so he's basically an interim coach. So, maybe that's what it is. And lastly, I mean, the, in the PBA, the setup is like that. Kung foreigner yung coach, at syempre, bawal nga yun, ginagawa nilang consultant on the bench and then they'll name a Filipino to be the head coach. Now, you know, that's, that's basically just names, pero alam naman natin, when you look at the game, who's the guy calling the plays, who's the guys in mm -hmm. the press conference, it's still the foreigner. So that's also a possibility. And BCAP has a, apparently has a history right. of going against these foreign coaches. Right. 
Um, but my question is, in the UAAP, if we mm -hmm. take a look at Ateneo, Coach Tai Bond right. is there. Mm -hmm. So how do you explain this? Is it because, is it, you know, limited to the basketball community? Right. Sa volleyball, pwede mag foreign coaches? Mom, ganun. It seems like, uh, because the BCAP by its name, Basketball Coaches Association <laughs> of the Philippines, right? But uh, aside from Coach Tai, I mean, the, F the football coach of FEU is Korean. And so mm -hmm. it seems like, talaga, at least in the collegiate ranks within the UAAP, they don't have a problem kung nandun si Coach Tab, but it's really the BCAP who has a problem. So why do you think is are they a lot stricter when it comes to basketball? Probably because it's you know it's the Philippines national sport, and I think uh, it's just a more visible sport. I mean, with the mm -hmm. PBA and stuff, maybe nowadays with the volleyball, you know, really becoming more popular, uh, that might be a position. I don't know if the coaches who have a union as strong mm -hmm. as BCAP. But I mean, if you're asking for the reason why, it's because basketball is so popular. There are so many basketball coaches at the lower ranks that I'm sure would want to get that break to sort of get a big time job like that. Sure, the our uh, number one sport right. here in the Philippines. Last question, do you think politics is at play here in the whole setup? I don't, I don't think so. Naman. It's more of really just, you know, when they set up the rule, takot talaga ang mga Filipino coaches na teams will start bringing all these Philipp these foreign coaches in and take their jobs. I think naman, you know, basketball is a merit, sports in general, it's a meritocracy. If you're a good coach, regardless if you are Filipino, not Filipino, black, white, male, female, whatever race you are, you'll get, you'll get mm -hmm. a job. It's not na, it's, I don't think it's a case na somebody will say, if you have a good Filipino coach and a mediocre foreigner coach, people are going to pick the foreigner coach. No, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. I think they'll just pick whoever the best coach available is. And in this case, for Ateneo, ang feeling talaga nila, the best coach available for the job is Tab Baldwin. And uh, that's because, you know, when you talk about meritocracy, and that, that's because of the competition, right. the intense competition in the sport, which probably led the BCAP mm -hmm. to institute the rule in the first place. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot to look forward to in terms of developments on yep. that. But uh, thank you so much for enlightening us <laughs> a bit about the issue. No problem, Gats. <laughs>